What's up guys? Welcome back to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more Plague Inc. And we're starting off with The Cure. Now last time we left off we did unlock Fungus. It's not unlocking, it's not keeping my stuff. But I'll do that in the off time. Uh, we're going to start with Disease X. I just want to see what it is and after that we might look at some of those new scenarios like we tried last time. I had a lot of fun with those last time. So uh, Disease X. The next pandemic. You know what? Yep, let's do it. <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm in for. Select a plague type. Okay, what if it's bioweapon? That one's deadly. That one, okay. Oh, so I get to make one? Oh, shit. Okay, stats. Starting infectivity. Oh, wow. This is going to be pretty bad. Infect duration. Infection duration. Typical length of time a person can be infected. I don't know what any of these mean, so I'll leave them. Maybe, I don't know, air transmission rate will leave. Hot country effectiveness will leave it. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Wherever that was, sorry. Was it at 100? No, 80? I don't know. 70? 9? We'll put it at 80, just because I don't... 81, fine. I don't know, remember where it was. Oh, reset. Duh. Yeah. Okay, let's do bioweapon. What was it at? Now we'll know. It was at 70. Ooh, I was going to make it worse. All right, let's leave. actually if we get to play with it, then let's let's play with it. Starting infectivity, let's make it let's make it crazy. <laughs> let's see how fast this thing can kill. But let's make it real deadly as well. Infection duration will leave the same, and then we'll just make it like to where it just travels like right through the air. All right, yeah, let's do that. But let's make it less effective in like most places. So then it is super deadly. It does travel quickly, but like it's not as it's not gonna travel as fast, I don't think. So we'll do that. Yeah, quarantine effectiveness we'll say works with this because it's airborne, so we gotta keep people away. So quarantine effectiveness will be like four hundred. I mean they're not gonna listen to me anyway, so might as well swing for the fences there. Assemble my task force. It's not gonna do me any good. I feel like this is gonna kill everybody almost immediately, but hey. Might as well play with it. It's fun to know that you can make your own. That's pretty cool. I wish they would let you do that on the flip side. On the other, like if I can pick how powerful my thing is, that'd be awesome. All right, we're gonna do casual because there's no way this isn't gonna wipe the floor with me. This is gonna be called OP because this is gonna be way overpowered. <clears throat> All right, pick a country to be my HQ. Let's just try to save as many people as we can, and I'm gonna pick Iceland. Yeah honestly all right operation we got to get the hell out here we got to start looking for it guys because it is about to just probably take over everything it's gonna get real bad real fast i have a feeling this is gonna go poorly for me oh reported in china let's shut china down entirely if we can asia pacific Europe, Northern America, yeah, Asia Pacific, and let's shut it down. We'll close all those borders, and now we'll just kind of chill on it, maybe? It's already spreading, though. We're, we're definitely screwed. Oh, yeah. Oh, good God, it's so fast. How many people? Oh, no. People are completely ignoring lockdown quarantine measures. Find economic initiatives to disable quarantine measures to reduce non-compliance. Jesus Christ, yeah, this is bad. This is not good. Emergency care, yeah, we're going to need it. Because this is about to go badly, I feel. <coughs> Alright, let's freaking try it, guys. The oh, no. Disease now has been completed, but now understand enough to target disease correctly. New initiatives available. Yeah, this is going to go very poorly, I feel. We have to start the research to cure it immediately. That's my only chance, I think, of, like, trying to stop this a little bit. Clinical treatments, yeah, we got to we gotta get off the ground real quick here, because if not, it's going to kill everyone. Oh, no. Okay. Yep, we're losing them, people. All right, I got lots of points. I got to spend them. Let's try to minimize death. Let's border monitor the crap out of these places. Not that it's going to do any good, but hey, let's do that. Yep. Yeah. Let's make people aware of it. 
All right. I mean, that's. I mean, yep. Yeah, that's where we're at. We're just. I'm just. I don't have near enough points. I think is what what we're dealing with here. Saudi Arabia overwhelmed by OP. Yeah. I. Yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna be, guys. It's gonna get bad. People are panicking about dying. Well, no shit. I mean, it's. Yeah. This thing's gonna take everyone out. We have to. We have to start manufacturing immediately. I need more points, but I don't have them, so we're just gonna sit here, everyone, okay? This is one of those things that, like, even if you put quarantine measures in place, I don't think anybody knew what this was gonna be. Oh, Egypt society's collapsing. <clears throat> That's not great. It's not great overall, honestly, if I'm, if I'm being honest with you guys. Okay, yep. We've got to get some authority back, because people are just gonna die, and it's gonna go bad for me so we're gonna we're gonna block everything up and we're gonna add some authority to this mix here and maybe if I can afford a response yeah we'll do yeah reduce fatality rates and increase vaccine research speed hell yeah let's do that let's add a bunch of authority let's freeze everything for just a, oh god everyone's gonna die this thing no I don't think I can beat it to be honest I don't think I can beat this thing oh the censorship initiative ended and now we're just hemorrhaging authority. God, that was fast. Okay. Uh, let's do fake news. Let's let's call it. Let's Jesus Christ. This is what it's come to. And we're 42% with a cure, so we're we're shit out of luck, guys. Oh yeah, people are it's over. It's over. How many people have four billion? Yeah, this thing's gonna kill everyone. Yeah, fake news is over. This we're we're done. We're done. Let's give myself some authority and see if I can ride it out. Yeah, but it's we're we're finished. World leaders are losing faith in your ability to handle OP. Take immediate action, otherwise you'll be fired. Guys, I don't think there's anything I can do. Yeah, I failed hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it killed 6.5 billion people in 165 days. Oh, man. That was rough. That was that, <laughs> that was pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Let's do... Oh, so I can do scenario creators as well. Okay, let's do some custom scenario or official scenarios. Experiment with real-life diseases in altered worlds. Okay. So we did Ultimate Board Games, which I loved. Let's see, what else can we do? Um, where is everyone? Almost everyone in the world has mysteriously vanished and nobody knows why. The rapture, mass abductions, spontaneous combustion, who knows? Luckily though, a few thousand people left behind are carrying on as normal. How will your outbreak spread when there are so few people left to infect? Okay, that's interesting. Let's try that. Why not? Oh, and I get to pick which one. Okay. <clears throat> Nurex Worm is interesting. Nurex Worm might be fun. Let's try Nurax Worm. That was a fun one to play with. Is there anything else I can do? No? Okay. I mean, there is. I can do literally anything. But I'm going to go with Nurax Worm. I just feel it. Okay, we'll keep all these genes in. Bonus DNA when devolving. Yeah, better. Increase of plague mutating. Get bonus DNA at the beginning. All right. Let's do it. On. Let's do normal. Let's, let's give ourselves a little bit of a... No, not victory lap redempty. I guess that's the last thing I named that. Let's call this... The Hunter, because it's got to find these people in order to do it. Welcome to the Where is Everyone scenario. The world's population has almost entirely disappeared. With only a fraction of people left in each country, how will you infect the world now? Oh, uh, we got to go Greenland. And then I'm just going to, yeah, I mean, Greenland is my initial. The Hunter has infected its first human. All right. Neural Breach. Cerebral tendl tendrils, frontal mesh, gain mentally manipulate host. Okay, I like that. That's what I need. And Trojan planes. Fly to a target country. That's what I need. And then transmission will work on. So there's not a lot of people anywhere, really. How many people are in the... Hunter is a Nurex worm. Undiscovered for thousands of years. Yep. All right, how many people are in the world total? What have we got here? 312,000. So Greenland has... Just not a lot of people, apparently. How many people does Greenland have? It doesn't say, but I can click on it and find out. Hey, Greenland, how many people do you have? 1,282. Okay, so this is going to be slow going. But I think that's the name of the game. We can speed things up and see what we can do here. Politicians have that political short-sightedness and self-interest may result in the total breakup of the Euro. Well, all right, bad news over here. 
Only a Nurax Worm can make that better, am I right, guys? Let's find, let's, let's have a deadly Nurax Worm hunt him down. Worm's able to exchange genetic material inside host body, increasing chance of mutation. Nurax Worm produces eggs that are ejected from the host brain in thousands, increasing infectiousness. Yeah, let's do that. Concertina Locomotion. Ability to grip with portions of the body while pulling, pushing other sections a lot faster, movement outside host, increasing infectivity. Okay, yeah, I like that. Eggs hatch when they experience an increase in warmth, likely due to nearby human activity, greatly increasing infection. Yeah, we need to greatly increase infection. Let's do that. <clears throat> That's what I need to see. There we go. Lots of people in Greenland. Oh, somebody wants to fly. Let's get them somewhere crazy that they wouldn't normally go. Let's get them all the way over here to, to Madagascar. Let's do it. I'm going to try to... If they randomly let me pick countries, I'm going to pick, like, you know... The Caribbean. Oh, yep. See, like I was just saying, the Caribbean. Places like that. Like, that's what I need. Yeah. Let's do that one. Trojan Roamers. Yep, causing them to travel more. Increasing infectivity in target country. Trojan Plains 3. More. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's awesome. Let's see how often that pops off. Whoa! They just f blew up over there. In a normal checkup, a doctor in Greenland found a new disease, which has been named the Hunter. It appears to be mostly harmless, but let's be investigated further. Other countries also reporting this disease. Well, nobody freak out about it. It's just a deadly disease that I've created to specifically take you out. So nobody freak out like a bunch of weirdos. Scientists tell the public not to worry about the Hunter. Although unpleasant, it does not appear to cause any symptoms in humans and will be easily cured. Well, that's rude. Greenland's the first to instruct doctors to begin research into a cure. Okay. Well, that's because almost everyone has it. But there's not a lot of people, so I don't know that they're going to be able to do much cure-wise. Like, what, what are you going to do? You know? I'm going to spend some of my points. I got lots and lots of points, guys. Let's see. Yeah, let's just make it drug resistance. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's get this. Trojan Destroyers. Trojan Host causes destructive and aggressive behavior in target country. Huh. Increasing infectivity. Let's do symptoms. Immaturity. Lower levels of hygiene. Increase infection. Uh, perceptive jolt. Oh. Decision making. Okay. Confusion. Hard to con complex work. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's bump up genetic swap. Increase the chance of mutation. Corpse feeder. Infectivity when corpse is present. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll stick with that for now. I feel good about those little those little boosts should help me quite a bit. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, let's get these hard-to-reach countries. That's really helpful for those. I can just boost over to these different little countries. The hunter has been placed on the World Health Organization watch list. Already dangerous, governments are warned that it could become unstoppable. I mean, it's gonna become unstoppable, guys. There's not, you're not gonna do anything to stop it. Yeah, we might as well get these kind of, yeah, manipulate human thoughts. More research is needed. 1%. Adrenic constrictions. Yeah, don't, I mean, don't try to research it, guys. I'm just going to make things harder for you. Confusion. Memory loss. Very hard to cure. Mania. And obsession. Forcing host to obsess over a specific worm-related task. Great. Devotion. Ooh, gonna get these people devoted. New obsession, avoiding parasitic worms. Reports are coming in all over the world, an extreme obsession with avoiding parasitic worms. Severe measures being taken to avoid infection. Well, I mean, that's not gonna work. Guys, you're doing a bad job. I mean, it's like, there's not a lot of people. Confirm, the hunter has the ability to control humans. Scientists urge to investigate further. I don't think it's gonna work the way you think it's gonna work, guys, because now you're devoted to it. Think about the worm and trigger intense rushes of pleasure. There we go. And now transmission. Let's get this bad boy going through birds. Let's get everybody. Everybody's going to have it. Um, what place doesn't have it that's like hard to get to? Oh, they're already closing all their stuff off. So yeah. Japan, here we come. Looks like you guys couldn't do it. You guys didn't stand a chance. Yep, we're going over here to Argentina. Let's cut more like... Chile there, right? Alright, yeah, let's jump over. Let's get more people there. Focus on developing a cure. Well, if you got, all you guys are that focused on it, I gotta turn off your ability to do it. Genetic hardening, decreased future research speed, and genetic reshuffle. 
Let's reset some of that progress, guys. Well, shit, it didn't really reset anything, did it? Scientists have introduced synthetic genes into the hunter. World Health Organization researchers say this breakthrough will help cure efforts. Well, shit, I don't want it to help cure efforts. I need drastically hindered cure efforts, guys. Ooh, normal life in Turkey is beginning to break down due to the cure. Hunt cure research is starting to slow. That's what I like to see. China's falling into anarchy. There we go. Yeah, people infected with the hunter are reporting visions of rapture and a glorious new overlord species. That a cure life as we know it will be over. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. Oh, well, almost everybody's got it. The cure is pretty much done, though. So, I mean... We have to we have to stop that or really start messing with people. And I think aggression, maybe aneurysm can be lethal and hard to accurately diagnose. Perceptive jolt disrupts priorities and decision making. That might be good, but I'm gonna go with aneurysm and then aphasia would be great. Language impairment. Yeah, we gotta start really wrapping this thing up. I get points when I devolve these, right? No, because that would say refund instead of cost, so I don't get points for devolving. I just have to really hope that they can't cure this. They may be able to, though, guys. They're going pretty quick. I was making fun of Canada. Bad luck or the beginning of something worse? Yeah, I mean, I gotta get more deaths out of this, guys. No, the cure... No, aphasia symptom. There we go. Let's shit. Let's damn it, guys. Come on. Uh, allows increase in speed and rate increase in fashionists. Don't need that. I need... I just need, yeah, transcendence? What? Oh, okay, I got that. Overdose of oxytocin and vasopressin forces the host into a permanent state of worship. Acceptance. Treating the Nurex worm as an eternal god. Well, if I have that, why are we still curing it? If you, if, if I'm a, if it's a god, then why are we trying to cure this, this beautiful gift that we've been given? Guys, huh? How about that? Adoration, yeah, spread infection, okay, yeah, we'll see, that's, we need that then, I need 23 points, but I don't think that's gonna happen, because they're still trying to cure the damn thing for some reason. 97. The cure is being deployed worldwide, well, I don't want that to happen, I just got 24 points, so let's see if I can switch that up. Aggression. Spend DNA points to evolve new symptoms. Okay. Hypothalamic tap causes irrational hatred and violence, especially towards authorities and uninfected. <clears throat> or adoration. Let's do adoration. Yeah, they need to love this. I need them to stop trying to cure it, please. Are they just going to keep trying to cure it? Damn it, guys. Come on. The world has survived a horrifying plague and will soon eradicate the hunter forever. People who have died will not be forgotten. Damn it. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. Let's try another one like the board game. Let's try one that's nothing else. Golden Age. A global growth surge brings huge economic gains that primarily benefit the people at the bottom of the pyramid, improve the quality of life for billions. Healthcare and research significantly improve worldwide. Can humanity be stopped? What? What? I don't want to stop that. Shut down everything. Okay, smallpox. Sovereign default. Volcanic ash. Who cares? Increased popularity of reality TV in rich countries distracts people and stops them caring about disease outbreaks in poor countries. Reduced funding significantly impacts the surveillance capacity of poor countries and limits their ability to respond to natural disease outbreaks. Okay. Xenophobia. Jesus. Okay, let's try Pirate Plague. Maritime piracy increases worldwide and poses a major threat to international shipping. Global sea transport and increase... And trade is significantly reduced, changing the way that people travel. How will anyone get to Greenland now? Interesting. Huh, okay. Ice Age, that's interesting. Solar variation reduces the amount of radiation emitted by the sun, triggering a minor ice age and lowering the global surface temperature by more than 5 degrees Celsius, as well as triggering other climate changing events. Is hell freezing over? Interesting. Created equal. Disease-free world is imperative. Now global program to improve surveillance capacity significantly increases the ability of poor countries to identify, respond to, and communicate about national disease outbreaks. Okay. Interesting. Artificial organs. Rapid advances in medical science allow for the production of advanced artificial organs. As the production ramps up, it is hoped that the ability to replace organs will significantly improve life expectancy. It's human on the brink of immortality. Let's try this one. Why not? Wait. Why do I have to pick a bacteria or something? I don't want to do that. I want it to be like a, oh, Santa's little helper. 
The world is dark and gloomy. Boring governments worldwide have banned holidays, laughter, and celebrations. Humanity has forgotten how to have fun. People dress in gray and spend their time working. Luckily, the Nurax worm has teamed up with Santa and is determined to infect the whole world with joy and happiness. Can Santa's little helper make a miracle happen? Well, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. Science denial. People no longer believe in science. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so let's try one that's, like, different. I want to try a fun one. Let's try Ice Age. Let's do it. No, Ice Age did the damn thing. That's right. Golden Age? Does Golden Age do it? No. What? Where's one that doesn't make me pick? Because, like, board game just threw me into it, right? Okay, official scenarios. Play. Fake news. Does that give me... Okay, no. Fake news. We'll do that. So... From wild conspiracy theories to election campaign mudslinging, we now live in a post-fact world where falsehoods and misinformation can spread just like a disease. In this radically different scenario, you'll create your very own fake news story and shape it using all the modern tools and psychological tricks at your disposal. Can you deceive the world? Created with the help of professional fact-checking organizations Full Fact UK and PolitiFact USA. All right, well, let's do it. Let's do it on casual. Let's let's have fun with it. Fake Gate. That's a great name. I don't I don't think I did that before, but we'll um Let's call it Fakey Wakey. That way, if it has a silly name, people aren't going to take it seriously, guys. Fakey Wakey. If they're like, have you heard about Fakey Wakey? People are going to be like, that's too fucking stupid sounding for me to even acknowledge it. So, fake news, misinformation, falsehoods, call it whatever you want. You are going to deceive the world and make them believe it anyway. Only one person is deceived right now, but a plausible viral narrative and some coming, cunning tactics. Not coming tactics. Um, let's, let's do Sweden. You know, if somebody, if, if you heard, oh yeah, it started in Sweden, they'd be like, well, that Sweden doesn't fuck around. Head to the fake news menu to finish defining what fakey wakey is, otherwise it won't be able to begin spreading. All right. Let's open the fake news tab. I have two points. <clears throat> we have manifesto, growth and adaptability. No, nothing in growth or adaptability yet, so we'll start over here with manifesto. Scientific fake news concerning modern scientific developments such as our understanding of the shape of the earth. Tends to harm economic development and future scientific understanding. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, well, that, that was my only choice there. All right, well, damn. Started by the elite. A small section of society with huge amounts of wealth, privilege, and or power. Started by blue-collar workers. Okay. Who, who came up with this idea? Students? Fascists? White-collar workers? Communists? Racists? That's weird. Men and women. Tech companies, big business, foreigners, journalists, racists again, a world leader, politicians, lobbyists, pets, kittens, artificial intelligence, celebrities, scientists, aliens, the Illuminati. A secret society of influential people controlling everything from the show. Why not the Illuminati? Why not? Motivation. Boredom. Do it because you've got nothing better to do. Do it for the lols. Uh, watch the world burn. Erode trust in democracy. Get your own back. Financial gain, make lots of money. Become a household name. Achieve a political goal. It's got to be a political gain. It's got to be political gain. Okay, blaming. Who are we blaming? We're going to turn around and blame. Let's blame children. You know, it's all fucking children's faults. Let's blame them. Let's do it. All right, growth, word of mouth. Let's get this started. So... Pass on information by communicating verbally. Slightly increases virality. Internet. Yeah, we got to get on the internet. Set up websites and forums and pay for online advertising such as banners and site takeovers. Increase virality. Slightly decrease, decrease plausibility. You can't believe everything you've heard on the internet, but we got to go for it. We got to do memes. Yeah, we got to. Yeah, we got to get that. We got to get it out. And adaptability. We got all kinds of harass critics, accusation of bias, expand victim list, and tweet mean things. Ooh tweeting mean things fakey wakey manifesto complete it's scientific fake news we got political gain the illuminati started it and it's all kids fault i just thought it's hilarious that the illuminati would come out and like try to put something out and be like you know we heard about this bad science stuff and it's all the kids fault like what to win fakey wakey needs to deceive the majority of the world people who realize the fakey wakey is false will become informed instead oh shit Okay, so there's way too many people informed right now. Jesus Christ. All right, let's go to growth. Influencers. Ooh. 
Sign up influential personalities, journalists, and writers to support your misinformation. Slightly increased virality and plausibility. Hell yeah. Hire fake experts. Ooh, significantly increased plausibility. Yeah, let's pay those experts. Why not? Out of context. Hire research teams to find quotations from influential individuals that can be used out of original context. Hell yeah. Also podcasts. Ooh, that's good. Community? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do podcasts first. Everybody hears it on a podcast and like, oh shit, did you hear on this podcast? Like, no, but I heard it on this other one. Well, it's kind of, there's got to be something going on. This is, I'm just like trying to deceive everybody. It's shit like this happens all the time. Amateur brain surgeon amazed by demand. Ex-politician Mike Grove says the patients want amateur brain surgeons because they have had enough of experts. Separately, Grove declined to share his safety record. Jesus. All right. So we're trying to spread this misinformation. A lot of people are informed. Like, way too many people are informed. we got to change those numbers, because that's kind of crazy. Community development. Significantly increased community. Okay, yeah. Fundraising. There we go. <clears throat> community amplification. Slightly increased plausibility. Media outreach. Increased plausibility. There we go. Engage established voices across mainstream media to explicitly produce content to lend credence to misinformation. Hell yeah. Online video production. Okay, interesting. Social media presence, slightly decrease, slightly decrease. I don't want to decrease. Slightly increase, okay, print targeting. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, too many, there's a lot of people who are quote-unquote informed. Fact-checking agencies in Sweden are urged to take action against new piece of information that is spreading quickly. Well, shit. Hopefully it's not, they don't start that quick. Sweden begins fact-checking fakey wakey shit. We can't have you fact check it. It'll loop back to the Illuminati. We'll have to kill you. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, fortunately, Sweden's kind of popping off as far as people who believe it, so that's good. A lot of people deceived already. Authorities are taking action against fakey wakey to inform populations and prevent them from being deceived by fake scientific news. Yeah, too bad it's going to be a long time going because you're already going pretty slow there. All right. Let's, yeah, let's pop this thing off. Expand victim list. Shift the narrative of your fake news by detailing more victims. Set back fact checking. Convert inform people back to being unaware. Reduces plausibility. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Funds, yeah. Expand blame list. Okay, it does it again. Okay, yeah. So let's do tweet mean things. Slow down fact checkers. Yeah, let's tweet mean things. Focus on irrelevant details. Yeah, let's get them caught up in the mud. And now let's expand this. Onboard politician. Hell yeah. Onboard political party. Convince a political party to adopt misinformation as part of its policy-making process, allowing it to inform their policies and manifestos. Significantly increases plausibility. Hell yeah. Let's do that. All right. We're looking pretty, pretty good. Newsletters. Slightly increased virality and community. Hell yeah. Let's get newsletters out there. Fakey Wakey origin shifted. Informed people are struggling to keep up with Fakey Wakey and its changing narrative. Started by big business. Ooh. So I flipped it on and made it started by big business instead of the Illuminati. Classic Illuminati move. We're like, hey, you know, the, the big business is the one who's saying this stuff. But that gets enough people believing it. There we go. That's what I like to see. The manifesto for Fakey Wakey is really resonating with some sections of society. Virality increases. Hell yeah, it is. All right, look at all these points we got. There we go. Now I need to, yeah, there we go. Let's start making moves. Fundraising, increase community. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. Let's do TV targeting. Slightly increased possibility and community. And now let's go like mainstream media appearance. Yep. And let's do exploit institutions. Reach out to established organizations that work within the field and have them openly support misinformation. Yeah. There we go. Out of context, slightly increase... Yeah, okay. Higher research teams to find quotations from influence. Yeah, let's do that. Fabricate data. Higher research teams to construct false but believable data sets, which can be led credence to misinformation. Increased plausibility. Hell yeah. And then, ooh, deep fakes after that. Printed leaflets, we're definitely doing. Produce and freely distribute sheets of paper containing misinformation. Yeah. And billboards. Hell yeah, might as well. Put them everywhere. Put them everywhere people like to see. Let's get this bad boy spreading. Yeah, places are blowing up now. Not a lot of places this isn't going to go. Yeah, everyone's concerned about fake news. The old fakey-wakey, though. I mean, come on. It's called fakey-wakey, guys. We can't take it that seriously. Come on. Man, look at everybody. Blow Russia's going crazy over here. All right. Let's do merchandising. That's kind of cool. Yeah, why not? 
That sounds fun. Adaptability. Yeah, let's make this harder. Slow down fact checkers. Let's do this one again. Let's let's switch this one and blame. Yeah, let's do a little alley oop now that they're doing more work. Uh, covertly fund the opposition to help shape their tactics against you and weaken them internally. Slow down fact checkers slightly. Decrease plausibility. Repeatedly use the words fake news in misleading ways to effectively make it meaningless term. Yep, let's do that. Claim witch hunt. Yep. Unfound attacks of sinister entities. Unpopular opposition. Manipulate things to ensure a deeply unpopular public figure comes out against you. It's not increased possibility. Slow down fact checkers. That's funny. That's good. Misinformation merge. Combine the narratives of your misinformation with other fake news to expand its reach. Set back fact checking and convert inform people to being unaware. Reduces plausibility. Okay. Harass critics. Incite people to hound those that speak out about your misinformation, making increasingly hostile for them to do so. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Accusation of bias. Accuse fact checkers of being biased and unfairly targeting misinformation. Slow down fact checkers. Yeah, let's just slow them down at every turn and then just keep pumping stuff into other things. Now we're blaming communists. Now it's communists' fault. Too bad America, USA is already yeah becoming more powerful. It would manipulate public thinking and dictate social discourse. New influential options are available in the adaptability tab. Oh, hell yeah. What's, what's, what's available in the adaptability tab? Ooh, trigger moral panic. Provoke self-harming policies which slow down fact checkers. Jesus. Take actions to feel powerless and afraid of the fake news and the damage it can cause. Provoke authorities. Incite hatred on both sides of the debate in order to increase pressure on governments to take strong action. Provoke self-harming policies which significantly slow fact checkers. Destabilize government. Trigger extreme overreactions from government and civil society, provoking self-harming policies which significantly slow fact checkers. Well, that's all I needed there, I think. And deep fakes. Let's do that. Let's definitely foment some insurrection here. Um, talk show. Yeah, let's do that. Our rally plausibility and community. Hell yeah. All right. Peer to peer. Spread misinformation, uh, slow down fact checkers. Yeah, that's great. All right, I like that. I think they're pretty much done for. I don't think they're gonna be able to cure this thing fast enough. Fakey wakey deceived over 40% of the world. Once it deceives more than half the world, it will become unstoppable. Well, that's gonna not, that's gonna be like in just a little bit, guys, damn. Even though they're not finished yet, fact checkers around the world are able to inform people with the data they have collected so far. Well, fuck you. How about you not do that? How about you not? Radio targeting. Let's do that. Buy a TV network. Hell yeah. Buy a newspaper. Oh yeah, we're doing that. I'm buying a newspaper for sure. Viral chat messages. Slightly decreased plausibility. I don't want to decrease plausibility. I want to keep plausibility good. Because I'm in a spot now where I don't want that to happen. Slightly set back fact checking. Good, good. We'll keep that up. Media hit piece. Yeah, we'll have to keep keep doing that. Yeah, I think they're pretty much done now. With over half the world completely deceived, Fake Awake has become unstoppable against the spread unchecked. Oh, shit. Yeah, that went rapid. Society fractures into filter bubbles. Fakey Wakey has damaged public trust so badly that people retreat into isolated communities of like-minded individuals. The ability to consider opposing viewpoints is lost. I think that means I win. Fakey Wakey inspires copycats. With Fakey Wakey leading the way, multiple waves of misinformation have destroyed all concept of objective truth. Nothing can be trusted anymore. Oh yeah, that's it. Turkey is now completely deceived. The last informed person in Turkey decided it's not worth fighting it anymore and has agreed that fakey wakey must be true. Yeah, I think that's it for them there, guys. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna expand it one more time. Now we're gonna do this reshuffle. We're gonna reduce all the plausibility, but that's fine, because we are about to shut this down on them. Let's do this one, why not? We'll do this. We'll do bot network. It's going to decrease plausibility, but you know what, guys? At the end of the day, I think if we're doing memes and everything like that, let's just make the people happy. Fakey wakey narrative completely shifted. <laughs> Corporate fake news. Motivation boredom. Started by scientists blaming pets. Now, it's it's not even the same as what it was, and people are just like, whatever. Every person in the world is convinced that fakey wakey is true. You have created a truly post-fact world where fakey wakey holds sway over billions and the truth means nothing. Hey, we did it, guys. Look at that. Well, I'm going to end that one here for the day, guys. That was really fun. I love playing this style. I'm going to see what else there is. And if you guys did like this, be sure to like, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And, of course, I'll see you next time. Bye.